Hey guys, I was scrolling on Instagram a couple days ago and I saw a comment which is like, hey, lucky you, you got shared by this Instagram page, like just by being lucky. And I started to think about it and I thought it's a good idea to make a video on this topic because many people still think that being lucky is something that they cannot control. We see that kind of examples on social media, especially like, uh, let's say one of the amateur singers just writes a song and sings it and becomes super popular, like gets millions of views and then gets uh, maybe album contract or something and so having a great career ahead. Or you see that a small YouTuber becomes suddenly a big YouTuber and gets lots of money and fame and everything and, and we just say, wow, how lucky is he or she? Or we hear stories like people getting job offers through Instagram or Behance or this kind of social media platforms and and again, we think that they're just lucky because like a design manager by coincidence while scrolling on Instagram sees that work and offers a job or an interview, let's say it's not that clear or it's not that smooth process, but someone just likes his or her work and offers a job and the guy gets the job. So we just think, wow, it's what a lucky story. And even I myself heard that many times from my friends, my colleagues or some random people that saying I am just lucky. And I agree, I'm lucky. And I just wanna show you how to be lucky as well. So the first thing you can do to be lucky is just subscribe my channel and like this video because yeah, I'm kidding, it's not for being lucky, but it's showing your support to me. I would really appreciate that because I really like to talk here with you and seeing that feedback also motivates me more and more to do these kind of videos. So if you consider subscribing, I would really appreciate that. And back to topic, let's start with a short story that happened to me like five years ago. In 2015, I got my first design award. And I was super happy. I was like, wow, I got a design award. I won it. I mean, I was not the first winner. I was the third winner. It was a military vehicle design contest in Turkey. And I was a student in university and it was a really happy moment. Then not long after, like a couple hours after, I got a message on Instagram from a random guy. Obviously, he was another student who participated and he says something like, you are just so lucky and I deserve that award more than you and you're lucky and something like that some angry hate message first couple of minutes I was shocked I was like I couldn't understand the reaction because basically he couldn't win the award and he was blaming me to be lucky to win it win his award let's say I tried to understand him maybe he was just upset he couldn't get any award and it's possible he just failed maybe he's getting emotional about that and I understand that part but attacking other people and trying to ruin their mood by sending this kind of messages that's something that i cannot understand but it was a good experience for me to see that some people can blame others to cover their own failures anyway after a couple messages i just blocked him and i thought about the situation and since then i heard that i'm lucky for many times from different people it's good i mean yeah i'm lucky it's good but i think i made it myself because i won like nine to ten design awards during my university studies and it was quite a success in my opinion and and many people thought that I was just lucky or some other reasons which are not under my control. But I don't agree with that because they don't consider that I participated more than 30 design competitions. Like it was kind of an obsession. I was like participating in everything I see. I was like putting the work out there and at the end some of them I was winning of course. Like it was more about constantly working on something. And I think it's not something magical. It works also for other examples like the singer who got popular on YouTube probably it's not her or his first song. They practice a lot, they published many things, they published many songs, and after a while, after some time, they just got the hit point and they're being lucky. Or the YouTuber, like most of the YouTubers, after years and publishing hundreds of videos, they just get popular and they grow something out of it. Or also finding a job or getting a job offer through social media is the same because these people are sharing their content, sharing their designs like regular basis once a week, twice a week, once a day, I don't know. But regularly and consistently, they just do it for years. And after some time, and of course, they can get a chance to get discovered by others. Because again, I know from myself, as I said, I participated more than 30 design contests and I just won some of them. And one of them was a scholarship that gave me possibility to study abroad and all these things. Or some people say it's like growing an Instagram page is also being lucky, but no, because if you're not consistent, if you are just not putting the work for a long time, in a regular basis, 
it just doesn't work. So what I experienced and what I hear also from other lucky people is they're just pushing hard and it's not always visible for other people. And my suggestion for you is rather than saying that other people are lucky or you are unlucky, just increase the chances to be lucky. Like do the work, do something and share it and try. And if it doesn't work, do it again. If it doesn't work, just do it better. If it doesn't work, do it faster, do it more. Just do it with more passion and don't be shy and share all these things, all this process for a long time. Just don't give up after one month or a couple months of trying. You need to be obsessed on something. You need to be like really crazy about it. Just, just do it without knowing what will happen. If you do it in a good way enough, you can increase the chances to be lucky and do it until you get lucky. And at the end, I'm pretty sure that you will get lucky as well. And it might happen during all these levels. Like if you are trying to get into a design school and if you got the negative feedback from school, it's fine, just do it again for another school or redo your portfolio, apply it again. Or during this pandemic, maybe you're just looking for a job, you just graduated and it's really not easy. But rather than saying that this other guy or girl is lucky to find a job, just increase your chances. Just apply more places, do your portfolio again, just send the message again, just do more research to find the designers to get a direct contact. Or even on social media, if you wanna get in contact with other designers and if you wanna get more attention, just put the work out there maybe every day. So I hope this video gives you a little bit different approach about being lucky. And I hope you will do the things to get lucky because it takes a lot of work and I'm pretty sure you can make it. So I'm Bear Kaplan, I'm a car designer and thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it and I would really like to talk with you. So comment below what you think and you can send me a message on Instagram as well. And see you on the next video. Hmm, but what about the people who are really lucky, like winning a lottery or the guy I saw on the video, like a car was almost crashing him and we, even without seeing the car he just by coincidence just stepped back and he survived and they're really lucky i mean it's a different type of luck i don't know if you can practice it i don't know